So Ross, looks like you found the uh, renewable operation here on the yeah. back side of the ranch. We've got the solar system up and running, three kilowatts, 12 panels. Okay. So that's already producing power. Yeah. Yeah. And this is our wind turbine pole here. Ooh, look at this right. thing. Huh? So we're actually on a concrete pad, nine foot in diameter, yeah. three foot deep, and then three additional columns that go 20 feet beneath nice. us. Nice. So right. So that anchors us right. here. All right, so then from the sauna tube here, we have some bolts that are gonna actually mount the final pole in its resting place. This is interesting. Right? So this thing is on a hinge, huh? It is. Yeah, it's a gaff rig setup. So what that means is that this hinge allows us to tip it down for servicing, and we can tip it back up, lock it in place. Now, are you Great. telling me this whole operation's only got this one little wire? That's it. That's, That's it. awesome. Yep. So 1.5 kilowatt wind turbine. It's feeding the power down here through that conduit, ultimately to the inverter. So we got three kilowatts of solar and about half as much coming out of the wind here, huh? Yep. We've got a 60 foot pole here. It's nice. press fit together in four separate sections. And the thing with wind, it's all about the wind velocity. So the higher you go, the more power that's available to us. I'd like to see a 60 foot pole as well as something up here on a hill because you know the wind is blowing up there for sure. We got plenty of it. All right. So this is our components for the wind turbine. Yeah. First are the blades. All right, we have, we're 10 foot in diameter. Nice. All right, and there are three of them. And the, the bigger, the better, right? So the more wind we can capture, the more power we can generate. All right. All right, so that gets connected to our nasal. All right, and this is where the power is actually generated. So it connects right here to the shaft. This spins and in turn has this generator that creates electricity and sends the power down the pole. And you're calling this, what is it, a nasal? A nasal. Right. Yep. And this is our tail vane. Yep. The tail vane connects to the back of the nasal and that makes sure that we're oriented correctly right into the wind so our blades can spin. And these three come together, which we're ready to do? We're ready to do it. Nice. Yep. We get started by moving the nasal into place. We pull the wire through the conduit of the nasal. Good, ready to spin? And then we hand tighten the threaded connection of the nasal to the pole. And then we lock it down with the chain wrench. Oh yeah, it takes a little bit of leverage, right? You need it tight. Now we can make our wiring connections. We move the tail vane into place and lock it down with two bolts. Now we're ready for the blades. We take the blades, we mount it to the shaft of the nasal, and then we lock it down with a reverse threaded nut. Then we cover up the blades, we cover up the nasal, and then we're ready to lift it up. So Kevin, our wind tower weighs 3,000 pounds, and we're gonna be using this guide wire here connected to our gin pole then down to this winch. As we start to pull the winch and that wire in, the wind tower is gonna to rotate about our hinge and get up vertical. Nice. This would do any good, but it is. It's the power of leverage right there. She's up. Alright, let's get those nuts on there. We can secure it. So we've got a wire at the base of that tower and you've run it underground. That's right. To so it comes in on this conduit right here, right? And it feeds into our inverter. We also have solar power that's coming into our inverter. Both of them are DC power, and they get converted here to AC power, and that feeds out in this conduit here to feed into our house and barn. 
So when we need power in the house, it is going to first draw from this system right here, either solar or wind. That's right, or both. Or both. And if we need more power than we generate, it grabs it from the grid. That's right. And if we generate more power than we need? Then our meter spins backwards, we feed the grid, and our neighbors get to use some clean electricity. Beautiful. So how do we get this lit up? We just got to get an electrical inspection, and then we can turn it on. All right. The inspector uh, gave us a sign off, Robin. We are live producing power. That's great. Been waiting a long time. Can't wait to see how it does. Well, it's doing okay already. So you got yourself a perfect spot for uh, wind power. I'll let y'all know how it does. And uh, board my calculations pretty good or not. Sounds good. All right. Nice job, awesome. guys. All right. Thanks.